Hey guys, Jimmy here. Thanks for joining me for a video. I'm starting to feel a little bit better, so, uh, you know, my voice is still kind of hoarse, but, uh, so I wanted to first off just remind everyone that I have the giveaways going on. We have a 300 subscriber giveaway, which is going to be giving away these cards, Rapier V, the Ferramosa Buzzwell GX, uh, this is the Shining Legends promo, Pikachu, Keldeo, Hoopa Shaman, Zekrom, Garchomp, Raichu, Reshram, and an Alolan Persian. So those will be given away at 300 subscribers. Also, I'm still waiting on it in the mail, but an Abra Gem Mint CGC 9.5 uh, will be given away from base set uh, when I would we reach 350 subscribers. Uh, just full disclosure, I bought that for, I think, like 30, $33 plus shipping or something like that. So just to give you an idea of uh, what value you'll be getting with that card. Um, I really like the artwork on that base set Abra, and I've always kind of liked Abra just because it's so hard to catch in the game. You know, it's pretty flighty. But anyway, um, so today I'm going to share just a few code cards, not too many today. Um, and I'm also going to just show uh, some of the cards that I've begun storing in those magnetic uh, enclosures that I showed in the last video. Um, I do appreciate, I can't remember the subscriber's name, but I do appreciate, uh, that subscriber that reached out recently and said that, you know, they'd seen a lot of cards that they were pretty interested in, um, when they watched the videos. Uh, that's what I'd always intended, you know, cause I mean, some of these artworks, <clears throat> either they're old cards or they're even new ones. But the thing is, isn't, you know, when you're watching openings or you're watching investing videos or whatever, you're not really being exposed to any of the history of Pokemon. You're not, you're only seeing what that pack is shown or you're only seeing, you know, certain aspects of, you know, the entire history of Pokemon. So that's why I've been showing cards um, just because, you know, these are some of my favorite cards. Pretty much, you know, if you look at my Sunday showcase videos, those are my favorites. Um, of course, there are a lot of favorites, but um, you know, we're looking at 25 years of Pokemon, so inevitably you're going to have a few. So this is, uh, this is one of my more recent pools. <clears throat> Actually, I purchased this card. I really liked it. Uh, it's a single strike Urshifu, uh, alternate art. Just really like that. Uh, you know, he's lifting that, uh, boulder to kind of begin an attack. This is a Charizard from the, um, U2 Strikes Back, uh, 10. It was like a fall collector 10. Um, really like that, uh, artwork on that one. I did get this graded, uh, another copy that I had at a nine, and this is the Shining Lugia from the Shining Legends Super Premium Collection. I do still have a sealed Super Premium Collection box. Um, I don't know when, uh, I'll let go of that. That's selling for about 500 on eBay, so... Uh, then we have a Tyranitar Fates Collide. Tyranitar is one of my favorites. This artwork I do like a lot. That was an alternate artwork, too. Um, the artwork from the actual set itself, uh, I don't like quite as much as that. This is Dark Tyranitar uh, from one of the Neo series. I just bought it Japanese. I think that's Neo Destiny, I think, if I remember correctly, with that set symbol. But anyway, this is, yeah, Dark Tyranitar. Um, Tyranitar, obviously, is, as I said, being one of my favorites. Uh, just... Pretty, pretty cool artwork there, walking amongst the flames there. Uh, then we have another Tyranitar, I believe. Yeah, this is Dark Tyranitar. I think this one was in a theme deck, I think. Um, I did just buy this, though. Uh, this is a pretty cheap Tyranitar, actually. I think, uh, I think I got this for like 8 or $9. Um, but it's a really, really nice card and uh, still somewhat accessible. So if you like that one, you can pick it up. This is the Dark Rai uh, GX from uh, Shining Legends. Just kind of like the purple color on that one. And I figured I'd, these are kind of rare that I have them in these cases. So I kind of wanted to uh, have some variation in the cards I featured in them. So this is a Rayquaza Level X, uh, Cynthia. <clears throat> Rayquaza is another one of my favorites. That card's about a, I want to say like a $30 card or so especially in, you know, near mint condition. Uh, this is Orbeetle uh, from Shining Fates. Kind of like the colors on that one. I actually don't mind uh, Orbeetle too much. Uh, I didn't like that Orbe Orbeetle V, but 
kind of liked it in its shiny form. <clears throat> and we have a Charizard from Evolutions. Just started thinking to myself, like, before I get these graded, I might as well, you know, put them in some uh, hard cases to protect it a little bit more until I do get them graded. This is the Veltal from um, Shining Fates. These ones were a lot more common as far as Amazing Rares go than they were in Vivid Voltage. Um, and I think there was another set that did the Amazing Rares, was it? I don't know if Battle Styles did it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Shining or the Amazing Rares were only in Shining Fates and then Vivid Voltage. But anyway, th these were much more common. I have tons of Reshiram and uh, Eveltal, but I really like the attack name, Amazing Destruction. It's pretty cool, and I do like the color um, combination on that artwork. Uh, just a few more. We have uh, the Zapdos. I did just pull this from a single pack. I was pretty happy about that. I do still kind of want that Articuno alternate art, but this is a Galarian Zapdos uh, from uh, Chilling Rain. Chilling Rain, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's a nice card. This is one of my favorites, one of my all-time favorites. I've definitely shown this in a Sunday Showcase video, but I did uh, decide to put it in one of these hard cases. This is the Hypno uh, from, I can't remember which E-Series, but anyway, um, it's kind of weird because this artwork it kind of reminds me of that uh alternate artwork for the shadow calyrex v max and i think it would have been cool actually if they'd done a throwback and had shadow calyrex v max being hopping over this home because i know there is that child looking out the window um in the artwork for shadow calyrex uh and i think it would have been i honestly think it was a missed opportunity to feature hypno standing on the roof of this house you know, lulling this kid to sleep and having Shadow Calyrex VMAX uh, hopping over the <clears throat> over the home. I really wish they had done that. I mean, that would have been cool. I mean, that's a throwback to a card from, you know, almost 20 years ago. If they'd done that, that would have been awesome. Uh, this is a Duskmane Necrozma. I really like Duskmane Necrozma. I like pretty much the entire Necrozma line. So um, that's one of the promos from... Um, from that uh, box, I think there was a yeah Duskmane Necrozma, which you're going to see here. This is a one from the, um, I think it was from Tag All-Star. But yeah, they did the um, reverse foil pattern in the shattered glass. I don't know why my phone is not focusing. But yeah, um, so I really like that shattered glass pattern on this card, especially just because like the colors are blue, um, you know, on the card and then the... Uh, shattered glass pattern kind of reflects that too <clears throat> then we have pikachu v full art uh this one i pulled from a pack from vivid voltage i actually didn't even i don't even know that i even knew that this alt or the this v full art existed because of course there was a v max full art and then there was the you know rainbow rare um there's almost too many variations now, but I was happy to pull it because um, that is that is actually one of the more, uh, rarer ones that you could pull from Vivid Voltage as far as Pikachu goes. Uh, so there's for Alligator from the E-Series. I think this is from... I don't know if this is from Expedition, but anyway, um, I really like the artwork on that one. It's always been one of my favorites, so I figured I'd... Put it in a hard case. Then you got uh, Gyarados from Ancient Origins. This is a pre-release. I uh, always like the artwork on that one as well. Uh, then we have Celebi and Venusaur. GX, Rainbow Rare. I bought that one from a local um, card shop. Then another pool that I had recently was the Galarian Slowking V. Alternate art. Been pretty lucky lately. I mean, for the most part, uh, with the pools I've gotten from PAX. So, yeah, I pulled that uh, in one of those openings. And then we have the Eternatus V gold card from Shining Fates. Bought that one on eBay um, because it was so cheap. This is, you know, going down in price, but I mean, it's a gold card. And I like Eternatus as well. So, um, Pick that up. Then I have the uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX. 
single strike. This is just the VMAX, you know, regular art. Um, I like that one a lot. Then the, probably the best pool I've had recently was the Snorlax um, Secret Rare from Chilling Rain. I, I got that at one of my first openings of the uh, of the set that I'd had. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy to have pulled that, especially when the alternative was Bronzong. You know, when you're pulling a gold card, you think part of you thinks it might not be the best one you can get, but fortunately in that case it was. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got for today. So as a reminder, you know, enter the giveaway, subscribe, comment on the respective videos that I've posted regarding the giveaways because that's how I'm going to pick the winner. So, you know, don't leave a comment on this video for that. Uh, and yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll try and, um, you know, do another opening here soon because a lot of these I've done off camera. Um, but yeah, so and I'll try to put some other videos together soon, too, as far as maybe I'll do my own kind of somewhat of a, an investing or a hype video, um, just because I know those are really prop popular and they draw in a whole lot of viewers for whatever reason. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. So have a great day and I'll see you soon.